What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Melly Man back with another reaction, back with another video, man. For y'all, let's get it, dude. We have said SSG Kobe allegations explained. Now, bro, I wake up and check my phone, and I see no jumper talking about uh, you know, there's there's allegations of SSG Kobe of of SSG Kobe somebody, bro. Like basically, like he, I think he did or tried to or tried to. I don't want to say he did, but he tried to. You feel me? SSG. Are you dead ass right now, bro? After that, I can no longer listen to your songs. I can't listen to no songs. Bro, and I was just listening to God, the better be. You know what I'm saying? Now I see this, and his manager even confirmed it, bro. Like, talking about he has no contact with SSG right now. The fact that you were just about to drop an album, my nigga. You was just posting how you finna drop an album. Then this happens, bro. And they're saying she's not lying about this shit, bro. Are you serious? You just threw your whole career in the trash, bro. What be wrong with these niggas? Well, let's get into this vid, man. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to talk about a recent story oh, yeah. that He's has been buzzing in the underground rap scene, which is the allegations levied against rapper SSG Kobe. As of the time I'm recording this, about <clears> four <throat> hours ago, an artist known as Cash Kenny came forward claiming that SSG Kobe apparently brought her to his studio and took advantage of her. She wow. ended up posting four long posts on Instagram about the story, claiming that two weeks ago that he messaged her, asked her to come to his studio, brought her into the studio and forced himself onto her and took advantage of her and the crazy thing is she claims that he oh, actually I'm about to read this all right i'm gonna read it it says he proceeds to start trying to take to to advantage of me to take advantage of me she meant she meant to put take he asked me to give him head I told him, no, I don't do that. I don't want to do that. And I try to move around him in order to leave the room. And he steps in front of me to block the door and proceeds to coerce me into doing things with him that I didn't want to do. He never asked for consent. And I was verb verbally telling him, no, stop and you're hurting me. I was trying to push him off of me, but he ignored all of that and took advantage of me. I couldn't yell for help. The room was soundproof. I was scared. The first thing he said when it was over was, I'm sorry. I just hate hearing that shit, bro. Like, not even gonna lie to you, that shit gets me emotional as fuck, bro. I just hate hearing, like, Shit like that happened, bro. I'm sorry, my nigga. Are you dead ass, my nigga? You're not sorry, nigga. You wasn't sorry when you was doing that shit to her, bro. You feel me? My nigga, Kobe, I used to fuck with you, bro. Bro, I used to fuck with you, dog of her inside the studio because of these soundproof walls and she had no way of calling for help he also would not let her leave the room after the altercation ssg kobe apparently messaged her i apologized and then later stated that it wasn't for her the apology was actually not meant for her and he ultimately what? just avoided the situation cash kenny then pressed him about the situation about how she wasn't cool with him taking advantage of her as well as avoiding her at the end she claims that ssg kobe gave her a very weak apology blaming it on mental illness on the reason he did the things he did now these sorts of allegations are you dead are you dead are you dead serious man? are you dead serious? are you dead serious are you dead serious because of your mental health bro i be telling i'll be telling on these bro these 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 motherfucking artists these rappers whatever they bro y'all be thinking they life so fucking perfect do these niggas bro they need help the most bro y'all be thinking because they got the money and all this other stuff that oh this, they life just so perfect bro what? This nigga just said his mental health was the reason why he did what he did, bro. Dude, nothing could make... Bro, what makes people... Bro, what? You're just horny as fuck. And you couldn't get no... You couldn't get no... Bro, you couldn't get no pussy. So you decided to take advantage of somebody, bro. She clearly said she wanted to do nothing. 
and you want to take it, you're, bro, you, 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 they're in the studio game, in the studio game, bro, it's just wrong, bro, ain't gonna blame mental health, bro, on that, what's wrong with you, my nigga, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I'm deleting every, every, uh, SSG Kobe song out of my playlist, bro, I ain't gonna bat, like, this is crazy. Is and this I like all true, bro? Things. Like, for real, I mean, for real? This is SSG Kobe we're talking about. This is a pretty big artist here who has several really big songs, like some songs even on Lyrical Lemonade. So Literally. this allegation could definitely damage his career. <sighs> However, a couple hours after this post, his former manager, Hardly Milo, where he says, please stop saying she's lying because she is not. And he has now effectively ended all communication with SSG He's Kobe. He's done! Video. While it is not confirmed that SSG Kobe did these things, it's not a great situation right now when your former manager supposedly says that all of these things have happened it seems so weird that almost so if his manager is saying this then it's, this has, has to be true bro. controversy i mean just look at summers with the whole believe the hype and you know I, I could honestly make an entire video about how many underground rappers have had these sorts of in, uh, instances of really bad crimes that could honestly put them in serious jail time it's this almost like wrong. a rite of passage at this point that they all have to do this or something i don't know why it's so common in uh, the underground hip-hop Pop scene. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Of course, this isn't set in stone yet, and it, this isn't entirely confirmed, but um, it's not looking too good for SSG Kobe at this moment. So Thanks. let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. God bless. All right. So I know I came off a little bit judgy at the, at the uh, you know in the beginning, but bro, it's something that's taken that's I take like serious, bro. Like that is not something to play with, bro. Like. People who go through that, and it's not cool to do that to women, bro. Like, the females, all that stuff is not cool, bro. Like, it's just nasty. So, if if his manager is saying, bro, he's, he lost contact with SSG Kobe, and he's not rocking with him right now because of what happened, bro, SSG Kobe could be cooked, and his career could be over, bro. But that's the end of the video, man. Hope you enjoyed that one, man. It's your boy, Melvin.